Next with the newly strung piano, there's the issue of focusing the tone. We're going to level the strings to make sure that each hammer is hitting each set of strings at exactly the same moment so that we don't get a phasing or out of phase um, sound that mimics the sound of a slightly out of tune piano. So before we level the strings, we want to make sure that each hammer itself is on the same plane. Um, I'm going to work with, these are fairly well shaped, I'm going to work with some 400 and then 600, actually 240, 400 and 600 good sandpaper, just to make sure that these are all perfectly level. Now I do have a board under here to get them all the same height, about at the strike point level. And this is assuming that you've done any of the mass reshaping, if there's string grooves. This was a fairly new piano that had an accident and needed the strings replaced, so I have less to do. Um, some people will back the carbide paper with masking tape or something to provide a little bit more stability, a little bit more rigidity to the paper itself. Um, for the amount that I have to do here, it's really, really minimal. Uh, again, just making sure that that way when the piano's in shift, there aren't any individual left to right discrepancies that we have to mimic in the string line or try and account for. So we're going to go for level hammers, level string. Okay, I have the piano roughly at pitch. Uh, because I'm going to be moving strings, I'll need to tune it again. And we have the hammers all level, and now it's a matter of getting the strings level. If you consider a three string unison, if we have, here's another little cute tool, another one from Joe Goss of Mother Goose Tools. It's a level that sits on the strings and can determine if they're left or right or straight. So not only are we concerned about level, but we're concerned about the three strings being exactly in one plane. They shouldn't be tilted this way, shouldn't be tilted that way. The hammer should hit exactly all three at the same time. And we could check with the level on top by plucking a string to make sure that they're all touching the level base of the brass or plucking with the hammer up against the string and making sure that all three strings are the same level from the hammer that is, that is going to be touching them, that's going to be exciting them. To use this level I mean, first it's important to find out is the piano level. Once you've determined that, because we're working from the, from the key bed, that we know the hammers are level from the key bed. So we work our way up, and we're going to be testing at the strike point, because that's where we're concerned with. So this one, I can pluck all three strings and realize, yes, it's touching the brass. And the bubble, I don't know if you can see it from this level. If I can get my camera to focus. The bubble, so I have the bubble level right on the strings. I don't know if you could see it too well there. It shows that I need to raise the right string just a touch. And I'll actually not want to raise just the right to put these three out, but I'll need to raise the right and the middle. Again, let's back off a little bit. Here's that Don Menino tool. That's very handy for doing this. Uh, let's get an angle here where you can see what I'm doing. Let's see if I can work lefty. And it's not so much a yank up, but it's a slide towards. Again, with the Mother Goose tool.
put the hook on the string and you can just guide the string upwards a little bit. On a grand piano we usually level going up. So here we have a, a situation where we're about level, the right string doesn't ring, the left string doesn't ring, here's the middle string. Ah. So we're going to need to raise the right string, or the, the center string, sorry, a little bit to come up with the level of the other two. Okay, so you can see this is kind of tedious work, and it's just going to take some time to go through every string, make sure that it's all level. We can check it against the hammer. Now when working in here amongst the dampers, you've got to either prop them up or be able to reach under. Sometimes, like in this situation, you'll get it to wobble and realize that the strings are that much out of So it's just balancing on the left two, not even touching the right. And you just keep working it back and forth until you get to where it's choked off on all and you've got a, a level bubble. To get everything all leveled, one way to check is to press underneath to keep it from blocking or keep it from tripping out. Yep, cell phones are everywhere. But anyway, I'm back. Um, one little trick is to use a thin piece of bushing cloth, or this is actually uh, buckskin, as long as the, the hammer's clear under there and you've got a nice um, easy path in and out. You can then the dampers will clear, the strings open, and when you press the hammer gently against it, you can tell if the hammer is then blocking on all three strings to assure that you are level from both the hammer side, the string side, everything's clean, you have your best chance of getting a nice clear tone. I'm going to go ahead and check all these and then tune it up again. Then after tuning, we'll be ready for final voicing. But at least we have a clear tone from which to work with all the strings working together and the hammers hitting everything equally.